Hi, Bob here. Just a little overview on uh, blueprint communication and uh, communicating to widgets on um, on uh, blueprint actors. Okay, I'll just to show you what I'm talking about and then um, explain, kind of a, do a walkthrough. Okay, so what we've got is our player character walks around, he's got a collision attached to his camera, so um, it only should only trigger when he actually looks at the object. So, looks at the object. Um, we have this option screen pop up here, turn on our projector, we've got a, a light on the projector which uh, lights up, also the widget attached to the screen um, actor um, changes the texture uh, brightness, we can click on our play media button, place on the screen and also in uh, this widget here, choose a, a different one, we can play a different uh, one. We can turn it all off and uh, go back to walking around. So um, yeah, we just walk up to the the object. I've, I've left the keyboard enabled um, just as a safety measure sort of thing, but uh, the um, mouse is uh, fully locked. And um, basically, what, what's happening is our player his um, extra collision sphere when it bumps into the object opens up a uh, options widget which, and we click on the uh, on button a light comes on on the in the projector um, actor and then on the um, be also the widget connected to the screen actor lights up and uh, we can play our media wherever we like okay let's um, just have a quick look and see how everything's set up and how they communicate and uh, set up for relationships between the different objects so first off um, just starting from the player controller I've got the um, just casting through to the um, third person character pawn there and feeding through a uh, reference of self to a variable we've got inside him there. Then we create the main in game widget and get a reference in here and also feed through a reference into the, uh, the pawn as well and then we add it to the viewport. That's, that's all we're doing in the uh, player controller. Okay, and we'll um, just jump into our third person character. Now, um, the, the next thing that, uh, that happens is uh, the collision on the third, third person character. So we'll have a look at him. When he collides, and when he's uh, got this little sphere here just sitting out in front of him which is attached to the camera so uh, it'll only it'll move around um, in line with the camera so uh, unless he's looking at something he's not going to trigger trigger anything and then we'll have a quick look at the uh, overlap here using a blueprint interface to get the information that we need and uh, set up for relationships. Um, if you haven't used one before, a blueprint interface, just go along here, blueprints, blueprint interface, create one, set up a, a function with all the information, uh, creating outputs and inputs with uh, the information you want to transfer between the blueprints. Then on the the um, actor that you want to collide with or get the information from um, under the class settings add the interface under interfaces 
and that will appear down here as uh, functions under interfaces. So um, what we've got here, this uh, projector one here, just um, set up a, you can put anything you like inside here, it'll just appear with the input and the output and um, whatever you need to do to get the information out. Now, um, for one little kind of tricky thing, the way I've set it up here is I have uh, dropped a projector into the scene and also dropped a screen into the scene as well and then just grabbed the screen here and dropped them on top of the projector. So drop them on there, boom, it becomes a um, a sub -ob object of the projector, so he, he's attached. So the word to use is attached. So there's a, a relationship between those two set up. And this way you can move the, sc the screen around independently, uh, independent of the projector, but when you move the projector around, it's, um, there's a relationship between the two. So it's um, just a, a nice easy way of pos position positioning them and setting up a relationship. Now the, the one tricky thing is, with our screen actor here, we've dropped a, um, a widget, attached a widget to the actor and when you do that the actual widget you're using um, in my case here the W screen widget is uh, is a kind of a, a subclass of this um, widget component so you, you can't get a, a direct connection between the two you're going to have to um, get this reference um, draw a cast off it and cast to the, um, the actual screen widget itself to set up the relationship uh, which is what we're doing in here so we've got our attached actors there's only one so it'll be at uh, index 0 cast to the screen because this just outputs actors and uh, our, our screen blueprint here which is everything here, the physical one um, is a subclass of actor so we use casts. From there we're dragging out the component uh, which I've named uh, movie, C movie screen and then we have to get user widget object and then cast to this little guy here and uh, at this stage I think that's the only way you can get hold of him and communicate directly or indirectly with him. So what we're doing is from there we're getting this guy, we're casting to him, getting him and feeding him back through here to feed him through and uh, do whatever we want. So now we have a um, direct reference to his ID. So, so we've got him for good here. So we bump into him, bump into the projector, we're getting our um, this, the widget, the actual physical um, screen um, actor class, and also the projector as well. You know, you can put anything you like in there and feed through, so you get your relationships set up. Now, uh, with my HUD reference that I set up previously, the um, projector options widget just sits inside them. So just uh, take a second here. So we've got our, our main HUD sitting here. Down in the corner we've got our projector options just set to hidden. And um, all we're doing is switching between hidden and visual to see him. Um, and no, nothing else. That's all we've got in, in there. So we go back here. From the uh, oh sorry from the options um, jump back in there just got the one function in there to set up the variables so now we've got all the variables we need sitting in here for our um, on click events okay go back here um, so yeah we feed all the variables through 
so uh, we're all sitting in the uh, options there and we can now use that to um, connect and uh, communicate directly through to the uh, display widget that's attached to the screen object and set the visibility um, stop for mouse movement uh, which is just set that up as a, a, a boolean with a switch um, to uh, stop for pitch in your so the um, so you've isolated your character basically and then setting up our mouse input and show mouse cursor and then um, reversing them when we either trigger the uh, off event or um, stop the uh, overlap if we look away or step back from the uh, from the actual um, projector so it turns everything off okay so um, after we've bumped into the, car of the, uh, the projector our options screen pops up this um, an options display that is just a, a W screen widget which I've dropped in there and uh, we've got our set of buttons here for whatever options you want okay we'll have a, a quick look here so uh, on click turn on got a got our reference to the actual um, projector that we have in the scene I've got a little light switch on them to turn a light on and off uh, nothing complicated there so we connect we're affecting the projector and then um, this is the reference which we fed through and um, on the screen widget which is the W screen widget which we've got in two places we've got a reset function here um, that's just to alter the brightness of a just a normal texture on the screen just to give the impression that it's turning on and off you could work, work in all sorts of sounds and uh, a nice little intro um, scratchy video or whatever you know just to show that the communication is possible there and um, what was that for oh that was for the um, the version of the uh, media screen to display it so I'll uh, just have a quick look at that uh, reset thing there it's um, just using a normal texture and uh, either setting it to dull or bright that's uh, all we've got in there for the reset function and uh, let's see now for playing the media files uh, just an on click event uh, just got a little switch to see whether you can turn it on or not and then uh, uh, just plugged in the uh, our, re our reference to the widget attached to the screen and also just done the same thing with the one inside the widget here as well and this will play from a media library set from your, um, whatever index you choose from and uh, it just runs through here we set the image texture which uh, just set as a plain um, texture to start with then when we play a media file we are setting it to the um, uh, a new media texture as as the image and then um, from our media player we're selecting whichever movie is it um, based on the index in our media list rewinding it um, just in case we've you know played it halfway through before before we cancel it so we start from the beginning play from the beginning when it reaches the end just uh, simply closing it and then um, re resetting the um, original texture and the um, brightness of it whether it's on or off uh, just have a quick look at how the media is set up uh, I've just got three things in um, for the media really you've got um, under here media media player media list and media texture 
the um, just create a folder drag in whatever media you're going to use and then create a um, a media list from the from here media list Ooh. and um, add and then select from the drop down whatever ones you've uh, imported into your engine simple as that save it and uh, close it then set up a, a media player and that, um, that should automatically have your media in there and then create a media texture with the uh, media player assigned to it so now when you um, set up the image in here all you have to do is assign the uh, images for new media texture and it all should work nicely and then uh, open the playlist and um, select the index uh, let's see which we were doing down here just uh, going through that function feeding in an index number coming in here to select the, uh, the one that we want and that's, uh, that's pretty much it and um, yeah everything else is just switches and things to turn different bits and pieces uh, on and off but the main bit is the um, setting up the blueprint interface so that we can grab all the necessary references once we've got the references we can set them up in um, wherever we need them so we've set them up in here and then we can just use them wherever we need them you know so we can uh, communicate with anything that we've uh, bumped into and uh, anything that that object has a relationship with okay cheers um, hope that helps you out a little bit